fog output with the USB 6009. The USB 6009 has two analog output channels that are capable of 150 samples per second output at 12 bits of resolution. This device is meant for a software timed analog output, so it's meant for lower speed waveform generation, but if you wanted high speed waveform generation, we would recommend something like our M series data acquisition product line to do that. So let me describe our hardware setup for you, and then we'll go into LabVIEW to see how to program this application. This is the USB 6009, and here is where the analog output channels are coming from. What I have is an analog output channel 0 coming out, and it's going into a resistor that then feeds into an LED back to the ground input from my 6009. As I increase the voltage level of my analog output channel 0, it will drive current through this resistor and LED, and then as that increases, we'll see an increase in the light intensity from the LED itself. So that's our setup. Let's go into LabVIEW and program the application. The first thing we'll do is go to a blank VI and on the front panel, starting from scratch, we'll click the right mouse button and we'd like to put a slider on the front panel. So we'll click this one, we'll stretch it out and we see our slider and I'd like that to go from 0 to 5 volts so we'll output 0 to 5 volt range on our analog output channel. And that's all we need to do on our front panel. Back on the block diagram, we're going to put our functions for analog waveform generation. So there you see our slider icon, and now we'll choose our analog output, and we'll get this through the DAC assistant function that we put on the diagram. So this will open up and let us select to generate signals, analog output, and then we want to do voltage, and then we'll tell it it's going to be analog output channel 0, again, which is this channel right here. So now we'll go ahead and we'll specify a couple things. Basically what we need to say is one sample on demand output and this is going to be the software timed part. Every time the software tells it to output a sample, it will. So it builds our function and now we're going to wire the slider into this function right here. So we're good there, ready to go. And now what we want to do is put this in a loop so that it happens over and over again. So we'll take a while loop will surround all of our functionality and then I also need to tell it when to stop so I'll click right and tell it to create a control which will show up on our front panel. So now we're ready to go, we'll go back to the front panel, we'll click run on this and I'm going to go ahead and dim the lights so that you can see the LED as we light it up. So we'll go to the slider and we'll begin to move it up and then you'll see as the voltage increases we, we get a light intensity coming out of the LED at the level that's set by our slider. So as we go up and down, we see that we're changing that voltage value and the light intensity changes from the LED. So this is a pretty straightforward application. I think you can see how to set it up. And this is how you do analog output with the USB 6009.